Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Why Ashkenazi Jews often cluster near Southern Italians and Sicilians in genetic analyses, and what this really means for ancestry. Some people see this overlap on PCA plots and jump to conclusions like, Ashkenazi Jews are just Italians, or they're mostly descended from Southern Italians. But that's not how the genetics actually works. The truth is more nuanced. While bro both groups share a mix of Southern European and Levantine Middle Eastern ancestry, the pathways and the proportions are very different. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. The Shared Mediterranean Levantine Foundation. Let's start with what's true. Both Ashkenazi Jews and Southern Italians share ancestry from the Mediterranean world and the Middle East. For Ashkenazi Jews, the Levantine ancestry reflects their core Jewish origin, direct continuity from ancient Israelite populations. That Levantine origin later layered with European influences, mainly Italian, Iberian, and French, during the Roman and medieval periods. For Southern Italians and Sicilians, their Levantine signal comes from ancient Phoenician colonies, the Roman Byzantine world, and later Mediterranean mixing. So while both groups converge genetically, the historical stories behind those sig signals are completely different. My DNA modeling experiment. To illustrate this, I used myself as a target. I'm fully Ashkenazi Jewish, and I ran my genome through the DEY Illustrative DNA tool. I included populations like Ashkenazi Jews, uh, East and West, Sicilians, and Southern Italians. The source populations were chosen carefully. Levantine Middle Eastern, Western and Southern European, and Balto-Slavic Slavic groups, exactly the kinds of ancestries that shaped the Ashkenazi journey. I ran the models both with and without Southern Italian and Sicilian references, since these areas historically acted as a genetic crossroads between Europe and the Middle East. Here's what the results showed. A core Levantine Jewish, Jewish signal consistent with descent from ancient Israelites. A strong Southern Italian Calabrian component, likely reflections of Roman era Jewish communities in Italy. Iberian and French signals representing Jewish migrations through Spain and medieval France. And finally, a Slavic Eastern European component aligning with the Ashkenazi migration into Ukraine, Poland, Belarus, and Russia during the last millennium. Southern Italians and Sicilians, in contrast, show a Greek Italic core, only modest Levantine ancestry, and importantly, lack the Slavic and Northern European influences seen in Ashkenazi Jews. The distinguishing features of Ashkenazi Jews. So what sets Ashkenazi Jews apart? Number one, Levantine Jewish roots, similar to Samaritans, Lebanese Christians and Muslims, and Jordanian Christians. Number two, Mediterranean European layers. I, Ital, Italian, Iberian, and French ancestry from Roman and medieval periods. Number three, Eastern European admixture, Slavic influence from the diaspora. And number four, trace East Eurasian signals, tiny amounts of Central or East Asian ancestry probably picked up along trade and migration routes like the Silk Road. Southern Italians and Sicilians lack these extra northern and eastern components. Their DNA is essentially Southern European with modest Levantine input, but no Slavic or steppe ancestry. The number, numbers explain the overlap. To plot the numbers to this, average percentages from Global 25 analyses look something like this. Ashkenazi Jews, Southern European, 45 to 50%, Levantine Middle Eastern, 40 to 50%, Northeastern European, Slavic Baltic, 5 to 
Western European, French, German, 5 to 7%. East Asian, Siberian, Trace, 1 to 2%. And for Southern Italians and Sicilians, Southern European, roughly 55 to 65%. Levantine, Middle Eastern, in the range of 30 to 40%. And negligible Northern or Eastern ancestry. So yes, they can overlap in PCA plots, but supervised admixture models reveal very different layers. What's the conclusion? To sum it up, the similarity between Ashkenazi Jews and Southern Italians is a case of convergent demographics, not, not direct kinship. Both absorbed large amounts of Levantine Middle Eastern and Southern European ancestry. But Ashkenazi Jews also carry Western European, Northeastern European, and minor East Eurasian components. This makes Ashkenazi Jews genetically distinct, even if they cluster near Sicilians and Southern Italians in certain plots. So the, if, so the PCA overlap is real, but the story behind it is the Jewish diaspora journey, not Italian descent. If you found this analysis interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on genetic history and identity. Thank you for watching.